Hi everybody, good afternoon. I'm doing this room uh, via uh, what? White White Rose, uh, yet another Mr. Robot uh, theme challenge. Of course, as we start, uh, uh, you scan the, you scan your IP. Uh, we get to. Uh, to port open 22 and port 80 and then if we go deeper in port 80 what we get we get uh, engine x114 it's in easy room you don't expect some server stuff site doesn't have a title uh, what is this nice uh, server header nothing 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 so okay <coughs> So let's do this. We can take the IP as always. It's port 80, so it's a straightforward. If I go there, port 80, it redirects into this. So you can guess what it is. So you can go to uh, it is uh, Vim. I'm rooting the machines attack box. So uh, it is here hosts. And then, of course, you need to add that IP. What's the IP again? Uh, uh, ten dot ten dot ten dot eighty seven fifty seven eighty seven dot fifty seven cyber now we close then I come back here and then it tell you national as always you do view page source there's a CD and a CSS, nothing special there. Your next move is... Uh, what's your next move? Your next move is uh, go buster, the directory listing. So you can go go buster directory because it's redirecting, so it's better use the name. See if any funny thing is happening there. Go Buster Direct reminds you. Uh, check me this one, uh, and then I say uh, minus word list uh, use a uh, use a word list. Derb what's going on now? Derb Buster Directory to medium. Okay, maybe say minus x. Maybe PHP TXT. GS, CSS, zip, back, let's see. And you see that it doesn't find anything, so it just, uh, so it's dead end. So your next move, whenever you see a name like that, is a virtual host or subdomain. So now we'll go with a subdomain. My subdomain, we can go to faf, faf. Uh, ten, 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 ten. What's for uh, for uh, minus uh, uh, minus u? Now the domain. Uh, ten, 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 ten. I think minus h uh, hosts, and then you say fuzz and dot say pros bank dot try like me. Of course, my word list use a share. We use the use a share word list. We just sec discovery DNS, and then we have a subdomain just to the five thousand. I'm not sure the the command is correct. I don't think we put uh, the full URL. I'm confused. When I'm live, I usually forget. So usually, okay, the host uh, minus h. So oh, we can just minus u. That's correct. So. Okay, it's fine. Uh, uh, at least I, d I didn't forget. What's going on? Control C, remove. I've set the size because this is have the same size. We can. We don't need f five seven. And then we do. If you go look, the W is normal up as your engine X. So we interested now is admin. So you already found admin. So you can come, this one will not find anything, uh, there is no directory there. We find the admin, so we can come back here and we say admin.cypressbank 
to try hack me. For whatever reason, I tried the uh, go buster for the domain, <laughs> it didn't work. That's why I'm using Fuff. Fuff is straightforward for this thing, so it worked fine. So now we find the admin, so we know there is an admin here, so we can just say admin dot, and then we have this. Remember the room, they give us the login, they said to us, Oh, I almost forgot you will need this, so they give us some kind of name, because it tell us name, and then it tell us the password, so we have this already from the room, of course, now when you log in, you find this, the first question they said, uh, numbers, of course, you always uh, uh, view page source, anything that may be interesting, the CD and CSS, this is the, the point, the end point message set in wherever, and then we have uh, whatever the count, and then go back, we can't see the phone numbers, you have uh, go back to search, total payment, nothing, so uh, we don't have anything. Of course now here you, st you start exploring the, the thing, you, you, the, if you go to search, I can search something, so you have raw, it's not full search, it's not smart search this one, you need to at least to give him first part of the name, otherwise he doesn't find it, so that's one thing you can notice about it, it doesn't change, he only search for a name if you get first part, I'm not sure if he search for the second part of the name, we search too. So he has that uh, half half. If you go to sit in, you can guess this. So it means we need you can s guess this room what we're going. So we need the privilege escalation here to become somehow we can see this. Now, if you the search, of course, it's a post request. You can play around. Maybe you say a scan injection, yeah, ls. You can say point uh, that one ls. You can. I try wherever this ls then uh, that one find and if you uh, bracket doesn't give you so you, ls because it is an ls here but it doesn't execute the function so we we we, we stuck for a bit then you come to message the first thing you see in the messages is this it says sql5 and if you notice one two three four five so it show you the last five message if I say one it just show one so you said uh, ten it show you ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so you can guess and, and at ten you already see something interesting Th thing is guile can you share your credential we need privilege admin account and you can see uh, the name, the name of the guy is Greybev and there's password already there. So the first part is straightforward. We can collect our information. We put this there. Now because we got this, we don't need to stay as this normal user. We can jump straight to this guy and then his name is Garily Bev. And then we have the password for this guy. So this password it's a dangerous password and then and then we log in and we have this now we found the number and then the question I think is for gray or something uh, you can search for it uh, now we see the number so the first question is straightforward we have the first question now the next question is of course you can guess you don't want to waste your my, uh, time here because now I can see this remember the message we got the phone number and we got um, the admin password. This was already in the, in the normal user, so you can guess this is not the entry point, because if it was the entry point, was the point of uh, asking us for the phone number and becoming admin. So it means what the new parameter we have now is this. This we couldn't ask, ask uh, uh, access to it before. Now let me tell you guys how I did this. The first thing if you look here, it's funny about it, it's too something, if I put anything here, I thought before the customer come from this, I thought maybe I can change the name of the customer, so I did this, and I went there, and I said, okay, let that one, and I did password, 
and I said maybe if uh, I log out I can log the but it did uh, interestingly I can put anything you can put any customer name and the application doesn't say to you it's wrong you just say uh, password uh, update and reflect it now when it's reflect like that the first thing come in your head is SSTI and then I spent a long time in this thing because uh, what SSTI you, you whenever you do this like 7 multiply by 7 uh, and remember you're reflecting the password so you can you, you don't need that one you can put wherever is reflecting the password so if you do it it doesn't so now you think that it's not SSTI you play around you play around it and you keep another thing interesting is if you go to page sources and you come back down I think is a mistake in the, the app or something. He said me uh, name and then ID password. I thought maybe something here. Why they call it? Uh, math. This is just a typo. I think the developer uh, is supposed to be name name and then password password password. So, but it reflects the password. So now, so uh, what you do? You now what I do? You do what you always do. We go to <laughs> so let's say my name, my password. Put anything. You go to uh, our friend Burp. I have Burp is on. I can save and then I find it. Then uh, send to repeater. Then close Burp. Stop this. So we're done. Now if I go now to a repeater proxy, where is the repeater? Repeater is here. Uh, what's going on? So, so, so this I don't need this. So let's make it big. Of course, you send from here. We get as we always do. We tell you password updated to password. Now what I say, I got upset about this. To be honest, I got searching, searching, and what, the, even asking ChatGPT and um, uh, Cloud what SS. And then I said, okay, let me do something very interesting. I just play with the variable. I just say, let me remove this password call it password one and see what happened what happened is the car the the, the the application crash you see what it start doing when you when you don't send the password it doesn't see the word password it crash and it give you the path of it so you can see the path of the application the name of the uh, the user the app view sitting.ejs and then if you go down it tell you look for example where if password not equal to minus one now you think what minus one is doing there so I can say sitting if I put uh, wherever and I put minus one and there is need to do nothing it doesn't say you an error or something you just stay like that so minus one I don't know what it's supposed to do but there is a minus one here in the error password update this is what we sent and it said type of error and defined and then uh, password is not defined because we didn't send the password now the interesting part if you look for example it is saying this is yes we know it's yes we know something else from here it's uh, express it's an, uh, it's uh, when it's uh, express it means it's a no GS no GS with express framework but the interesting one is this part here EJS so sometimes playing with the variable this is was a luck then you play with a variable called EJS now you you combine the two SSSTI and EJS because you start thinking maybe Node.js is not like the normal what we use for uh, that's why we couldn't find when I put uh, these things didn't work for me now we start googling then you say EJS has a server side template injection vulnerability there's another one here they're talking about it here and then uh, you have uh, something here and you can see how how uh, they, they they do uh, this one you, you start calculating the computer so uh, I think they told him uh, something which one it work for me and now they said EGS package 3.7 no GS remember they said express there which one did they work for me uh, 
you see how they call it they do sit in view uh, one return global process main model a child execute and then this guy put calculator it start calculator here no a good confused one the one that work if you look to this the payload that work for me is this one you can see it's the same format sitting view option output function written global process child and then you execute remember things here let me let me go back to our friend I think they talk about eval somewhere here, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you see at eval, you see what it said here? Password in those, so there is an eval function was used, that's why we're executing here. So we crash, so sometimes it's good to crash the application to see what he's doing. Now, if we, if I follow the same struct of the things, so what we need to do, we just need to this line at the end of the password of your uh, uh, no uh, did this one the, the one work for me I think so so uh, and then I just password and just put that no that we need to put pair the password as it is so it doesn't uh, click the error and then we can send it now you can see we got an ID so we got so now we can play around so we can say ls minus la and then we got the, oh dot that environment variable I like that don't they can we read it because usually that one has a password cat dot env oh secure secure up secret we have the secret a uh, mongodb lo oh, let's keep this one when we uh, copy this let's steal stuff let's get this information maybe we will use it later on when we log in now yeah what's the next time now of course now you, you think with the shell also we can go to ls remember we know the the user is web so we know user web now let's see if we have an ssh minus la so can we steal keys or something does he has keys this guy now we know the history is out of the question because it's in dev null we have the app we have the bash src we have the cache and we have the user so you can get the first uh, uh, head minus c7 i can get user flag from here user.txt that's how it starts so you can guys uh, you can do the cut full of it i'm just doing it this so uh, uh, head C. Uh, sorry, guys, if someone asking me something, no, that. But I will check that one later on. So, we know there is no SSH in that thing. So, let me see LS minus LA. Home web. This doesn't have an SSH to steal. It doesn't so pm profile we have this now so now we need to do shell uh, where is my shell you go there you go reverse shell generator my ip is uh, 136 dot 123 leave it in 91 i think this one didn't work for me let's do the one that you always work uh ten 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 the the end cma uh, I'm doing uh, in a 9001 let's go there let me go there NC minus LVNP 9001 I think I forgot to do 123123 if you come you come here if I say I put it there I don't think it will work directly it's showing error now invalid uh, or unexpected wherever uh, you see I like this type of error because it gives you information but not no worry we can just do this uh, only the shell part of it 
convert selection URL in called uh, all key characters or let's see if it doesn't then if we do that we got a shell now quickly before because this machine <laughs> if you get the shell you get lost to the website because we don't like to type us we can just come here we do the first one uh, we paste there and then we do the export okay someone call me give me a second I need to pause it quickly I'm coming just now hi everybody I'm back sorry for that uh, ten, 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 ten. let's do that Control Z and then we can do that and then we are in a machine of course if you go to C home CD web but uh, CD web LS minus LA and that's where we are in the faction and we can do it we already got to use a minus C let's say 8 uh, user.txt and then you have part of the flags we can explore the app where is the app what's inside the app CD app views with cdls we can see the vim the index of the app what this guy was playing with us let's see cypress bank uh, it's mongodb oh the total payment all of that where is his password where is his hiding the password vim sitting let me see head bank component password update 2 oh that's his uh, if minus 1 is the, this is the undefined uh, enter customer name hmm that's where the error we got before the minus 1 what we said we do with that password can we uh, it's a mongodb i'm not usually i'm usually mysql it's a mongo but how uh, <laughs> we can how we can connect with Mango? MySQL, we do MySQL. There's no MySQL. Here. Mango, Mango. <laughs> how you connect to MongoDB? <laughs> I'm not sure. At least we got password. Okay. Now what you do? Of course, when you are in machine, always the next step for you is what it is. You do minus L. Hey, then we have something. Uh, I don't know what this uh, bad pass this thing is, is doing here. To be honest, uh, language environment, this is all fine. Uh, this this interesting. The interesting part is uh, some people may get confused there. Why it's an issue? Do edit for a file in the root because you think that oops, uh, there's some interesting about the file, but the reality is not. You might get confused here. Uh, is open it with uh, nano. Basically, is the configuration of uh, no var temp. So even they give uh, uh, no, it's uh, a proxy. That's where the the website runs. So basically, it's not. Uh, you can think you say. Remember, it's not running as root. It just you can edit. The interesting part is this. Why is as you as you do edit? You know, it's not normal to to edit file. This is especially to edit as you do file. The one for uh, as you do and root use and something is not for editing normal file. It usually is not recommend to do that in my best of knowledge. So instead to get this rabbit hole, you ask the first. The question is. If I want to become a root through as you do edit, I just Google. Let's if you Google as you edit, guess what you get? It's a CV. A CV twenty twenty three to two eight nine, and then um, there's a manual way to do it. Basically, what it say? It say the same as this. So it mean. Uh, exploitation. Usually, uh, an ETCS you do a file, 
as in this room that's why we have this uh, this these things it means it's inside uh, uh, it's inside the acid of fire that's what exactly is there so one thing is uh, his, this way is to export the editor is two ways this one uh, make a quick script for it you can run this script and become root uh, let's should we try the automatic one let's try the automatic one and then we go manually so if I do uh, oh, I'm not in the machine so let's see I have internet here so okay where are you so this one has a quick script if you want to script it do the same thing as manual you can see if we can read it here it's already you can see is adding your user to the su do and then changing the, 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 the parameter from vim let's let's copy it uh, let's call it uh, vim exploit.sh Uh, if I say to ch mod plus x exploit I can just uh, exploit I should become root straight press enter uh, no password command not found Bing opening, uh, please add the following line to the in order to do previous X. Press any key to continue. Line no pass command not found. Why are you ask me for the password? Uh, dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. I did test this website. Why? Why? Uh, hold on a minute. This is to test if it is exploitable. Let's see what. Uh, do you want to use confirm opening a CD file echo? read press indicate to continue editor vim i think i think to solve this problem we need to uh, you know what let's use it manually Let, let's do it manually the manually is to do this to to change the there's two ways to do it uh, a couple of ways to do it uh, let's do it manually no no this script is not working Let's do edit. Uh, that's how you exploit these things. You, you, you. S because what happened is you try to trick when you open this one. You switch to open this one. That's what it is. We have a right to open this as well because remember this only root can open it. So now we need to open. Uh, 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 to open this. No, so, so now if I do this, it will switch automatically. This is the the CVE, so it will switch to open that thing. Uh, what's going on here? Something is not right here. What's going on here? Why it keep asking me? The shell is not stable or something. Control C. As you do, but it do, oh, you need as you do for this. Uh, what's going on in this? Demons L. 
user when may run the command on Cybertruck use this one so why is asking me okay control X what's going on in this shell why right? it's uh... oh no I know what uh, what's the problem yeah it's this one I did it wrong export editor export editor to as you do then we can open the that one will take us to the sudo file and then we can add we can add the where is this the ten 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 Uh, we can add the I'm a bit confused guys give me a second I'm uh, uh, the user is web and then we need to add that but I need to add like this one because if you do this we still ask us for password so we need to do pass wd and do that if I close this and save it press it doesn't he has a press q so if I uh, if I open it again no it's not a change it, it changed just confirm we have uh, oh that's why so if I do uh ten 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 as you do as you I should go root straight. So who am uh, who am I? I'm root. Uh, so we can go to C D root and I say head minus C six root.txt and we have the fraud. Let's exit quickly from this become a normal user. L I want to do something quickly, the different approach to this. We go back let's delete this save press continue close out let's make sure we don't cheat so we remove that line so we know is there uh, now we need to put our export editor as it was no uh, dun 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 dun. Uh, editor let's put it back to export edit equal uh, vim so we know it's uh, vim for now so if I want to open the same command now and uh, if I do as you do minus L so if I want to do the same things now I'm not because I removed I reset the whole thing now I don't know what happened to that script now it suddenly doesn't work if I go I back I'm not going to as you do one way to do this remember we know um, the f let's try if we get the flag straight forward uh, see what's wrong with this uh, we can do editor I tell him straight open uh, root it was root.txt so I can say as you do minus L my sh so we can just say this as you do myself and I can just get the flag so we don't need to become root I can just do the flag so we got that correct so you see this is the second time so we got straight the flag let's put back everything so we don't cheat let's put back our editor to default now next one is why we don't change the root password let's do this the, the, the process that this guy is doing he said is collected to etc shadow so if I do export vim but I want it now to go to etc shadow 
so we can get uh, add our user to root and we can get the flag directly the flag directly you can read the file straight now let's do this now so you do minus l now before we do that we need to generate an open ssl let's see if this work i didn't test it but let's see pass wd minus second for sha 512 uh my we call it what you call it my password my I call it my name okay jalil one two three okay this is the long password of me copy now let's see if we can cheat yes you do now we are in root so before we crash the machine guys if the machine crash you don't call me let's see let's see slowly slowly before we crash the machine uh, you think guys we're right let's see <laughs> we save it exit why are you not exiting exiting now if if we are correct if i do su you ask me if password j l i l l one two three I'm root now. <laughs> it's work. <laughs> I didn't know it would work. So now we are root. So you can, because remember, you must think of the boss. This means it can. You can read any file. What? The, so the important is the shadow file. So we can change the root password now. So now I can come to the machine and see do as SSH as root if I want. Zoom in. I can SSH now. Uh, don't think root has. Uh, let's see if SSH ten ten. What's the IP address of that machine? Eighty-seven fifty-seven. Eighty-seven dot fifty-seven. And I can use the password that I have now. Jelly one two three. And now I'm root. Okay, guys. So you can do this uh, different ways. So you have. Uh, so you can uh, you either do the password you can uh, read the flag directly you don't want to become root or use the classic of uh, what we did uh, this script i don't know what this script was working and then stop working uh, we did manually you can add yourself manually and as you do and you become uh, part of the root uh, okay guys hope you like it and uh, you enjoyed please uh, like support the channel and thank you very much and have a good day